Hello everybody. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. If you can hook a home stereo up, believe me, you can hook this up. You wanna make sure that it has all of these components that this one's got, because they don't all have all this. I'm gonna show you how to put the hard drive in. I've got an add-on camera that I'm gonna show you a demonstration of it side by side with the factory camera. And the add-on camera that I got almost costs as much as this thing right here costs. And I'm going to be putting one of the cameras on a rotor where I, where I can turn and look across the yard. But I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. And this right here is a wired system. And a wired system is probably best for just the average homeowner. Now, I'm an ex-computer tech. I know how to do the wireless. But if, that, if the wireless, if, it, if something goes wrong, then you got to call somebody to come fix it because you may put it on there and never have a problem but stuff like that can can be a real pain but this thing right here will do everything that a wireless uh dvr will do if you buy a wireless system it don't mean you go screw the camera up to the wall and then it start looking at your monitor every camera has to have a power wire so, if you got to run a power wire, you might as well be running the other wire as well and save yourself some money. Unless you buy one off a bat that runs off of batteries, and I know you don't want to be fooling with swapping no batteries out. Now, this is a four camera system. It's got these four places right here for the camera. Here's the, the BNC connection that goes to these four. And... There's the power wire because the camera has a the camera has to have a power wire. I got three ways you can hook this up to a TV. You can use uh, uh this right here, and then it's got an adapter that turns it into RC8 jacks. And I I guess this is the sound that that goes with this, you know, to the TV or the monitor. And this right here is a VGA, you know, like a computer. That's how I got mine hooked up. Or you can hook it up uh, with an HDMI. And these four right here is your audio ports. This right here is where you plug your cable into your modem or your router. When you plug this in right here, then that puts this thing on the internet where you can watch it from your computer or your telephone. I am an old ex computer tech, and just because you're a computer tech, don't make you no expert. Uh, just like us, if you're a doctor, you don't, that don't mean you can go in there and do brain surgery. I opened up my four packs of 100 foot cable in the yard and I drug them under the house to this and uh, ran them up through here. They, and this runs up the wall and then this will be covered up with, you know, to match this right here. So this will be good as the wireless, but this right here is the reason that people like wireless so good. And I had to drill a hole behind the TV, but then all this mess, so you'll be behind the TV. And then this runs through the floor too. And then this, this cable right here runs under the house. And this is the one that hooks to your DVR, and it's connected to my modem right here. And I've got it in the number one hole there. I'm editing my video as I go, and I figured I'd tell you what, what this is right here this is a power wire that was here and what I doing is I run a power strip uh, I need power behind my TV so I just tapped into this line right here here's the power supply right here it comes with two of these one goes to the DVR and one goes to the four cameras and then your other power supply it goes into this one plug right here and that one plug turns into four connectors for all four of your cameras. Now here's the DVR. Don't look like much, does it? This actually, I think it does real good. This right here is one of the cameras. Show that to you. When you buy a system, you want to make sure that it's got an IR filter on it. You don't want, if it ain't got an IR filter, don't buy it. And these is the two cords. 
This is the power lead, and this is the one that goes into the DVR. I don't know why they don't make this all in one wire, because it comes in all on one wire. Now I've got everything hooked up, I'll let you see that. And here's the front of it. Looks pretty good. And I want y'all to know I'm still working on all this. I was going to make this video. And uh, see right here, I hadn't even run the wizard yet. But I've been looking at the at the monitor. See, I'm still waiting on the hard drive to come in. And then when I started making the video, I didn't realize I was going to have no damn hour long video. But uh, you can see how good this looks right here. And then you can click on each individual picture, and I'll show you that. And I'll let you just kind of look at this. Look, it's got good color. Works good at night. And here's a picture of my back porch. See, that bird just flew up by there. But, uh, man, this thing right here work, works real good. I'm going to have to show you the expensive ad on camera in part two. And putting a hard drive in. And then, see, i got to go through the settings. So be looking out for part two. And I'm going to show you how to get this online where you can look at it with your computer or your phone. And then I'm going to do a real good side-by-side -side comparison of the factory camera and that add-on camera I got. 